Hey there YouTube, it's Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today I want to talk to you about a user defined function, a UDF, which is basically customizing the way you want the functions to work. So by default you don't have a function that's equals phone, just like you have equals sum or equals this, that, and the other. But we want something that will take equals phone of this and it'll turn out as one, two, three, dash four, five, six, seven and it'll also be able to handle 10 digit numbers and it'll give us an error uh, whenever there are not 7 or 10 digits and it's different in different countries of course but you can customize it a little bit but I'm going to give you some starting points so let's hit Alt F11 we're in Visual Basic Editor now and using this drop down arrow I'm going to create a module if I type SU, excuse me, if I type function that's the precursor for making your own function. You type function space and then you type the name of your function. In this case I'm going to say I'm just going to call it phone. And we'll say um, the name inside your parentheses which is optional but we are going to use uh, whatever's in there. Uh, so let's give it a, a name. How about my number and we'll declare that as uh, a string we'll consider it a string of text so that we can manipulate it as we need. And this is going to turn into a variant. Just a variable basically. can be anything. could declare it as string too, it doesn't matter. So, how do we begin? Well, whatever is inside our equals phone function is going to turn into having the value my num. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and put stop right there so that we can get started appropriately. So I'm going to save my workbook here. This will be available in the Dropbox, so just check out my uh, link and you can download this workbook and check it out yourself. Uh, you also automatically download uh, any new workbooks that I add constantly if you sign up for Dropbox, a free service to host your files in the cloud and sync with your computer folder. Anyway, that's my spiel. So equals phone. So now you see that that is an actual option. Equals the phone of that. And I'm going to hit enter. And as I do, it's activated our function. And if I hover over the variable my num, it now has the value of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is exactly what that cell that we pointed to has. So let's do some. Oops. Let's do something with that. Let's say um, if my num, if the, how about if the length of my num is seven. So if it's a seven-digit number, then my num equals. We'll take the first three digits of the seven and join that with the rightmost four digits. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I'm going to take the leftmost of my num, comma, the leftmost three digits, and we'll join that with an ampersand using the text string hyphen, and join the hyphen to the left or the rightmost of my num, comma, four. So we're taking my number is now going to equal the leftmost, which is one, two, three, joined by a hyphen, and then joined with the rightmost four, which is uh, four, five, six, seven. So let's see what we have so far. And I'm going to put an end if for now, just to close off my if statement with an end if. So let's see. I'm going to hit F8. If the length of my number is seven, and it is, so now we'll see what's the left of that. The left three and then the right four joined by a hyphen. So if I hit F8, one, two, three, four, hyphen, four, five, six, seven. Now let's do an else if, if the length of my number is 10, then we do it a little differently then we would say my number 
is going to be equal to uh, we'll probably put a parenthesis, beginning parentheses. You don't have to do that. It's, it's a preference thing. Beginning parentheses, we'll join that with an ampersand. With the leftmost, again, of my number, the leftmost three, we'll join that with a closing parentheses and a space. We're going to join that with we'll have to use the mid function so the string that we want to use is my num and the starting point is the, actually the fourth digit in there because you have the one two three you don't want those and then the length is going to be three digits long and then we're going to join that with the oops, the hyphen and finally the last four. It's going to give me an error, but I'm just going to copy and paste that. So those are our two scenarios. So let's hit uh, F8. Now the final whammy, if you will, is you have to use the name of the function, which is phone in this case. So phone equals, and we're going to have that equal whatever my num ends up being by the end of this thing. Phone equals my num. That's what's going to be in the cell. Let's take a look. There we go. So there is that function. Let's copy it down. I'm going to take away the stop marker, but I will put a little flag in case I want to see that really quickly. F5. So, so this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. This would just show up as it is because it's not seven or uh, ten uh, uh, characters. So if we wanted that to return an error, we could. But, you know, let's just leave it as is for now. Now, what if there were hyphens and, and things like that? We want to get rid of those and reformat it the way we want to see it. So let's say somebody had a hyphen here. They had no space. And then they put this and maybe accidentally put an extra one. That would, uh, that's going to throw this thing off pretty good. So, and then you see that sometimes. Okay, so we wouldn't need to make up for, for other people's maybe mistakes. So m my num, right off the bat, equals, and we're going to use a worksheet function called substitute. Application dot worksheet function dot substitute. And we're going to substitute, let's see here. Let's take a look at how substitute works because I forgot the syntax. So you take the text, then the old text, then the new text. Text, old, and new. Okay. So we're taking my number and we're taking the old text, which is any hyphens. And the new text is going to be nothing because we want to substitute any and all hyphens. We'll do the same thing for parentheses, beginning and ending. My number equals substituting parentheses for nothing. My number is in parentheses, substituting that for nothing. And is there anything else I'm missing? Perhaps spaces. If there's any spaces, replace those with nothing. And you can go on and on. Same thing, let's do that with periods, or if there's any periods. Substitute that with nothing. So we start with a clean slate by the time we get to here. So let's see what happens there. I'm going to put uh, 123.456.7890 here and I'll copy my formula down. And oh well, I've already cleaned it up and you can see it. Anyway, it works, but let's see how it works. Let's go here and put a stop marker. And I'm going to hit that. Is that the wrong one? Let's do this one here. Hit F. 
let's see. So my number actually has a bunch of periods in it. We're going to replace or substitute any hyphens. There are none, so I hit F5 or F8. Uh, substituting parentheses, there are none, none, any spaces, none. But here's where you see the periods are going to disappear. If I hit F8, they substitute the periods for nothing. So let's hit F8. And there you go, you start with the clean slate, and it does the seven or ten digit thing. This is a ten digit one now that it's cleaned up. And put the parentheses and the space and the hyphen and all that stuff in there. And then phone equals, bam, now it is in the cell. So you can have all kinds of weird space, 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 dot, 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 hyphen, parentheses, hyphen, five, hyphen, six. Period for five, six, seven. Let's copy that down. Hmm, multiple instance. Let's see here. out the hyphens, taking out the parentheses, taking out the in parentheses, taking out the spaces, and now we're taking out any periods. Interesting. For the periods, it doesn't want to take out multiple periods. Let's try double periods, just for fun. Learn something new every day doing this, don't we? You're all nodding. I know you're nodding. Let's see, any double periods? My goodness, what about triples? You know, it's so ridiculously unlikely. Okay, it's not even acknowledging that one. Not really sure what's going on with that. I'll have to research that and get back to you. That is bizarre. Don't know why it has three. Alright, well, anyway, this is how typically you're only going to have one period or one hyphen or something at a time anyway. But uh, if somebody can get back to me, if you know why that happened, <laughs> get back to me. Otherwise, this cleans it up pretty nicely. You can see you're missing another, if you just have, see, you can tell pretty easily if you have a seven digit or a ten digit number. Because if you have a, let's say, let's do five, 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 seven, seven, eight. That's not seven digit phone number. So it's going to show up normal. But if you add the last digit, it'll put the hyphen and do everything. Again, you can make that error out or, or have a, or be blank or something. Or say yes or say no or whatever you want. You can do whatever you want with the custom function. Thanks for watching and I hope that helps somebody.